It's me, Jeff Sankoff, the TriDoc, and I'm here with Layla Kazani, who's one of the Patreon supporters of the TriDoc podcast. Hey, Layla, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. It's uh, not the most beautiful of days in Southern California, but <laughs> I'm told it's usually a beautiful day in Southern California. But nonetheless, it's always nice to uh, spend some time with uh, one of the listeners of the podcast. And Layla is a very accomplished runner. Um, Layla, you heard the podcast this morning. She didn't yes. because it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's two days before the podcast comes out when we're recording this. But when you see this because I will link to this video in the show notes. Uh, you will know, Leila, that uh, we did a segment on biomechanics and how biomechanics can be related to running economy. And we were talking just yesterday at dinner, uh, Leila, being a very accomplished runner, is uh, how do you manage your cadence? How do you keep your cadence up? Um, I really don't think about it. I you just, you just do it. And yeah. And do you do you look at your cadence after the fact, or do you do you know? Don't. Someone once asked me about cadence, and so I used an app. Yeah. And I measured my cadence. And, and what was it? Somewhere around 190 to 200. And wow. So I never thought about it again. Now uh, we should probably uh, say how tall are you? Uh, four ten. Yeah. So. Uh, smaller so definitely going to run at a higher cadence and uh but very fast uh, your pr at boston this year uh 321 very impressive congratulations thank you well uh leila we're going to tell the other folks who uh, tune into this video about how to use the metronome function on a garmin watch because as i said in the podcast i don't run at a good cadence normally and i use the metronome function on my watch to help me out. Which Garmin do you have? Uh, I have the, I think it's the 255. 255 runner, the FR 255. This is the um, Forerunner, I think it's the 965, but there are a host of different Garmins that will do a metronome function. I am um, gonna try and list them all I don't promise I'll probably put them in the title of this video as to if I can find the extensive list of which garments as of today June of 2024 have the metronome function I will put it in there but uh, if I'm unable to uh, I know that the higher end running ones the triathlon ones do so the way you get this to work is you are going to and I'm going to try and put this up here close so you're going to start a run and once you get into your run, you want to press and hold the button that gets you into the run settings. And once you're into the run settings, then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down till you get to metronome. Easy that word, right? Once you're into metronome, you can see mine is on and mine is set to 180 beats per minute. But if yours is off, if you've never used the metronome function, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna say off, so make sure that you press the button to turn it on. And then you can set how many beats per minute you want it to be. I have said in the podcast that 180 is your ideal, but if you're already running at say 120, it's gonna be very hard to go to 180. So set it to something intermediate 140 whatever and over time you can get to where you want to be but once you get it to where you want to be then you make it 180 that's where you'd like it to be and I have it set to go every fourth beat because having it beep every like 180 times a minute is super annoying so what I have it do is every fourth beat what that means is I know my left foot or my right foot is gonna hit the ground twice for every every time the beep hits. So that means both feet are hitting the ground four times. Does that make sense? So my left foot hits the ground on a beep, then it hits the ground no beep, then it hits the ground again on a beep. So that's what every fourth beat, uh, fourth beat means. And I have it set to sound and vibrate, but you don't have to. And here's what it is. Here's the preview of what it's gonna be like. And that's how it works. So it's really pretty simple and it's very easy to set up. Of course, I need to figure out how to get out of there. That button should be how do I get out of there? I'm not looking at the watch. There we go. That's how I get out of it by pressing back. And uh, that's it. It's super easy to do. Uh, I have found it to be very, very helpful with my running. And um, I 
use it for all of my runs. My uh, good friend Kelly, if she ever watches this, she will comment, I'm sure. She, she always has to run on the opposite side of my watch because she finds the beeping to get a little <laughs> annoying when we run together. Uh, but uh, I, uh, you, you don't have to use the beep, you can just use the vibrate if you want, you could choose. So what do you think about that? So, yeah. I certainly want to try it out now yeah it's a good i think it's a good tool i mean as somebody who already runs at a good cadence i don't know how much it'll help you but i know for for people like me who have trouble running at the at a good cadence that's economical i have found this to be incredibly useful well that's what i've got for you i hope you enjoyed uh, the episode of the podcast that related to this and that this video was useful for you as always uh, please hit the like button feel free to subscribe and uh don't forget to download and rate and review the podcast, most importantly, right? That's the biggest thing you can do. All right. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you again uh, the next time the podcast comes out or the next time I drop a video. Bye now.